Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for episode 5 of The Legend of Vox Machina. Last episode, Vax cheated death in order to save Vex, but not necessarily. In order to bring her back, he had to sell himself to death itself. So he's got a ticking clock on his shoulders now. So, But, my lord, the action last episode was just so good. Whew, my blood is still pumping. I'm recording these back to back and oh my God, I'm still like just kind of antsy and just shaking in my seat, man. But we're going to go ahead and hop in. We're moving on. I, I Maybe to our next vestige. I don't really know. We didn't, I don't know what's next, where the next uh, waypoint is for the team. So we're just going to hop in and we'll find out together. I'm sure you guys know, but if you want to see the falling three action, you can check those out over on Patreon or if you got a memorable channel, gives you access as well. They are on watch along format, so we need your own footage to sync up with the time codes for reaction to the entire episode. You also get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. You get to vote and suggest what movies we react to each month. We got monthly Q and A's, behind the scenes footage, and trying to make it worth your while. So you are going to wait to support the channel. And if you guys enjoy the reaction, I'd really appreciate it if you leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe if you're not already. It really does help us out, and I would really appreciate it. But with that all said and down the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into episode five, Pass Through Fire. Here we go. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. Sorry. Is that a baby Keyleth? No, don't go. Oh, is that her mom going to her armente? Listen to that, Keyleth. Do you hear it? Listen to that. You are the Avatar. When the world needed her most, she disappeared. <laughs> Flame cannot live without air, and we are air Ashari, are we not? We were made to pass through fire. Aww. Hurt you? Only if you let it. Kayla! <gasps> Something wrong? No. Nothing. It's just... We're so close to Pyra. The fire Ashari live there, guarding the rift to the fire plane. Mm. It was one of the last places my mom was seen alive. Oh. If we're close to Pyra, maybe we should go. I'd like to, but the people of Tal'Dorei are depending on us. Uh, how long has Grog been gone? Doesn't take that long to pop a squad. What was that? <clears throat> um, uh, Craven Edge? <sighs> yes. Oh, uh, good. You're there. Uh, look, so I love opening people up to feed you, right? I mean, they're flying apart. It's like a dream. C could you ever be full? Uh, Grog, are you talking to your dookie? <laughs> Can you play me a tune? You know, I'll just, uh, I don't want anyone hearing me go boom, boom. Sure, yeah. Poop accompaniment. It's what I've been training for my whole life. I kind of want to know, like, um, what's in this for you? I mean, I am crazy yoked out when I'm using you, but it kind of feels... It matters not. All that matters is... Oh. Sorry. <sighs> my hunger always. Man, uh, Is he like too dumb to be corrupted by this thing? Cause that would be great. The visuals of this season so far are just spectacular. No. God, stop jump scaring me with zombie vax. Come on, damn it. Why won't you come off? <laughs> They're so cute. Hey, Scan, 
Merlin. Huh? You know all these magical words and such. Mind taking a peek at this? Uh, I'll <laughs> I'll tell you the magic word for a favor. What favor? I'm not gonna tell you. You just gotta trust me. <laughs> I've met cockroaches more trustworthy than you. <coughs> Valancer. I swear to the gods, I will restring your loot with your own pubic hairs! We don't have time for this! Don't think that would sound very good. The rift to the fire plane is there. If it's erupting, then Pyra... The fire shari could be in trouble. Then they'll have to deal with it themselves. Vex! <laughs> Splitting the party. All of Taldore is in danger. We can't detour every time we see someone in trouble. This isn't just someone in trouble. It's her people. Keyleth would drop everything to help us. Especially you. <sighs> yeah, he's seeing the world a different way right now, though. <laughs> what in the world are these things? Ooh. It's okay. Get to your family. Thank you. Are you okay? More are coming. All her dad. I didn't know when I'd see you again. I can't believe you're here. You must have come for your Aramente. I. I... Well, about that. The rift to the fire plane was torn open. That's impossible. It's been secure for generations. It was a dragon. Mm. Laid waste to our people. Connecting the threads. The plots. Normally, the lodestones keep the gateway sealed. But when the dragon destroyed them, the rift was torn open. How do we close the rift? By controlling the flames. The we need Roku and Sozin. We're lucky you came. You've been on your Aramente. Your mastery of fire must be far beyond ours. Uh, you would think. Uh, the fire tamers need our magic to seal it. Where are these fuckers? I brought help. Hey! Freaking way, She's alive. Halura. Oh, they're all alive. But you guys are dead. We're very much alive. Oh. <laughs> Time to feed the sword. Fire me. <laughs> Scanlan, Keyleth, if we fetch your friends, can you buy us some time? I mean, we can certainly try. Yeah, they don't bleed. What was that, buddy? Uh, I just love me some blueberry pie. What? <laughs> Very flammable. And combustible, buddy. You're also combustible. All that gunpowder you towed around. Dude, I cannot see Percy. And not think about Adam from previewed anymore. How are you here? In Amon, we saw Allura saved us. When the tower fell, she whisked us away at the last second. Oh, nice. Hold up, Thordak came through Pyra. How did you even know it was him? Because we are the reason he escaped. Wait, what? Hema and I battled Thordak with a group not unlike yours. In a desperate attempt, we got hold of an ancient artifact, the Soul Anchor, and decided to bind him to it, like an arc- Oh, is that what's in his chest? Imprisoning him there forever. Because he had something on his chest now. All right, Keelan, this is it. No, I, I can't, I can't do it. Of course you can. You're as strong as your mother. Maybe even stronger. Now! Yes! Good work, Keelan! I 
ain't gonna work. Oh, oh, great. No. It's Valantir. Valantir? That's more like it. Witchin. Finish my trials. I'm. I'm too scared. I'm not ready. Is that her mom in the wind? Oh. <laughs> this is it. To the callers of the wind. I am Kiwis, an Arashari, like my mother before me. Made to pass through fire. <laughs> wow. Only if you let it. Yo! Come on, come on. She'll she she'll come through. She'll come through. Ooh. I love that fire crown for well, that she had temporarily. Keyleth of the Air Ashari. From this day forward, you have the blessing of Pot. Oh wait, she's got a gem there now. That wasn't always there, right? <laughs> Thordak escaped with aid from someone posing as one of our own. Of course. Trust those around you. And truly know their hearts. I trust them. I trust them with my life. <gasps> what if it's her mom? Her mom was last seen here. That would be f***ed up. I could feel the connection between the planes. Traveling between planes. It could be handy. Think you could do it again? Only one way to find out. Oh, she also got an outfit upgrade. Couldn't have asked for better companions for my dear Keyleth. Well, I don't know if I would call it an upgrade, but it's definitely... Especially that one. Aww. Well, we tried that already. <laughs> oh, I was like, why is she bobbing up and down? She's still on the broom. And because I'm so mature now, I accept your terms. I hereby owe you one favor. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Drink it. Care to seal the deal? Oh, oh come <laughs> on! Oh. <sighs> I hate that bear. Dragon. And was that Ripley we saw heading here? A rain that will sadly be short lived. Unless that is. <laughs> you care to hear what yep. I have to say. God damn it. Man, that was a good one. Keyleth got a level up. Ah, new new outfit. 
new crown. New powers. She's not afraid of fire now. I'm sorry I apologize for all of the uh, Avatar parallels that are brought up or re references. I mean, hell, it's animated by the same people that animated Avatar, so it's it's kind of there. <laughs> but no, I really like this. You know, Vax has a completely new perspective right now, especially with everything plaguing him, these constant visions, these glimpses of what is to come on top of his own imminent demise. He's like, we got to save people before whatever happens, happens. So he's very much so driven to figure this all out. Um, but this ended up being tied. I mean, they got a really important clue as to what's going on, how these dragons even got to this state, how Thordak, you know, escaped because he supposedly was imprisoned with his gemstone, which I, I believe, if I recall, was in the center of his chest still from what I looked like because he didn't have that where we saw him there. Am I, am I misremembering that? I'm going to pull up the first episode real quick. Yeah, he's got that thing buried in his chest, but as uh, the chains aren't there anymore. This was the last place Keyleth's mom was seen, but she's also been guiding Keyleth through the wind. So if she helped Thordak, why would she also be helping Keyleth seal this? Hmm, I don't know. Or maybe there's something else going on. But someone within their rank, somebody seemingly on the side of Tal'Dorei, allied themselves with him to free him from the fire plane. Who that is, we don't really know. Maybe they, whoever that is, is who betrayed Keyleth's mother and that's what happened to her. Maybe she's gone and she just lives in the wind now, her, her spirit, her mind. But that would be a wild twist if that turned out to be true. She took on that fire elemental form or whatever that is when she went in there and she was just all like, blom, blom pure fire resistance, just deleting them with flames. And I like the whole idea, again, them, they're, they're beings of the elements themselves, and they can only be hurt by them as much as they allow that in. I loved that aspect of it. And something about her own self-doubt is reflected in her inability and her fear of fire. To most, this uncontrollable, uh, destructive force, much like with Aang, Again, I'm bringing it back to that. He mishandled it, bounced it around, had fun with it, didn't respect its chaos, and burned Katara and swore it off until he learned to, that there are two sides to that coin, that it's only as destructive as your respect for it is. So, like, I love that kind of being echoed here in a lot of ways. So it's just a lot of fun watching this continuing Keyless story. We got a little bit of a side quest, Focusing on Grog's character, his class quest. Now we got Keyleth's, you know, Vax. We're spreading out the attention quite a bit. And I, I'm really liking that so far. Grog is actively conversing with this sword, and that's not great. It hasn't completely won him over in any kind of way. It hasn't corrupted his mind. I did posit that is it because he's so dumb that he's unable to be swayed by this thing? But then again, in this fight where it's hungry and it's hungry, and he's continuing to wield it. And this is also something that the the fighter that he sparred off, he faced off against in the previous uh, batch of episodes warned him about is that blade. And, you know, it's like none of these creatures had blood, so he couldn't feast on any of the things he was killing. It was like, then you'll need to find me someone with blood. I don't know if it turned it or if he knowingly looked around or if that was like it was telling him. Like, because it kind of like dowsing rotted over to Pike. And there was that moment of like, huh? with Grog, where I was like, oh God, oh no. This is gonna turn into a thing. I think it's gonna turn into a thing. But yeah, another fantastic episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please leave a like and drop a comment and let me know your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you wanna see the full length reaction, you can check those out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gives you access as well. And speaking of, before we go, I wanna shout out our channel legends. Manny Sherrat, Ryan Kerr, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Melito, Robert Anguiano, Raven McGann, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jay Contrell, Amy Becca, and Josh Lee. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in episode six. Take care, everybody.